And the people that are like, it's a PS4 game, it's a PS4 game, I think this is a great time to showcase. Look at the detail, the lighting, and the and the intricacies of the armor and the characters, and then watch what happens as soon as you're in 2018. It's not nearly as detailed, it's not nearly as lit, like next-gen lighting. Like, it doesn't have that same feel of what we were just looking at. So the people that continue to be like, it's a PS4 game, it's a PS4 game, I think you're going to have a hard time finding a game that looks as good as Ragnarok and runs as well as it does. And when you do find games that look that good, guess what? They're next-gen games. Like, look at the difference. Do you see him standing up and throwing the axe? And now look at the difference. Look at the lights. Look at the shadows. Look at the details. Look at the performance. Like, anybody's like, this is a PS4 game. What games are you playing? Because this looks like one of the best next-gen titles I could play right now. Look at his face. In comparison to what we've seen in the in the footage that they've been they've been kind of going back and repeating, the the as far as like movement, as far as emotion, as far as details and lighting, I I, I don't get it. I don't get it. You can't look. You cannot look at the PS4 2018 version of God of War and then look at this and be like, yeah, it's a PS4 game. It does look next gen, but isn't a next gen title. It is a next gen title because engines have agility and versatility. If a game launches on PC and has next-gen features, but can be optimized to run on a weak PC, that doesn't suddenly make it not next-gen. The way that people think about games and everything, I don't know. IGN Korea gave it a 6 and used the DLC excuse. Well, they look like fools, because nobody else is doing that or saying that. So, I mean, why not just admit to everybody that you're a hater that heck, that lacks integrity and honesty? Like, honestly, a 6, Sure. Yeah, it scored one point above Gotham Knights. Sure, IGN Korea, I trust your your uh, your completely valid and honest opinion. Sure. Like I said, the only other games you're going to see that are better looking than other, are other PlayStation games. I think the game of the year race will be very close, but I think next gen. I think PS5 and Series X only. But why do you think that? Why? I don't. Why? Why does it have to be PS5 and Series X only to be truly next gen? Why? There are plenty of PC games that are going to come out that are next gen and have next gen features that will run on weaker PCs. Are they suddenly not next gen when they can run on weaker systems? That argument has no substance because game engines have agility and adaptability. They're not building games in brand new engines. They're using current engines. They're using the engines that they used on previous generations of consoles. And guess what they're doing? They're adding higher resolution. They're adding better load times. They're adding better lighting. They're adding better frames per second. Because if it releases on old hardware, it's not truly next gen title. So now you're just doing a tautology. You're just restating what you just stated and it's circular reasoning. If it releases on old-gen hardware, it's not next-gen. No, you, you just said that. That's not an argument. You've just restated your assertion in a different order. Unreal 5 is truly next-gen, is it not? Unreal 5 has the ability to put in truly next-gen features, and this is going to blow your hair back. Unreal 5 can be optimized to run on very weak computers, and it can be optimized to run on older consoles. That doesn't mean something built in Unreal 5 is suddenly not next-gen. Maybe Cliffo is helping me make my point. I'm not sure. That's how game engines work. I think people just betray their ignorance about how games are developed and how game engines work when they say what Stealth is saying. That just simply isn't true. Look at the difference in quality. Unbelievable. Anybody that's like, this is a PS4 game. Look at that. And then look at this. Completely different in in quality and lighting. It's not, it's, it's completely different. The generation thing is some old console colloquialism. It needs to die. Elden Ring is more replayable compared to the new to new God of War games. God of War 2018, I platinum that I never wanted to play again. Every review I read said that the replay value in Ragnarok was higher than 2018. They all said that. Let's compare this to Gotham Knights that is next gen only. This game looks by and large far superior. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Detective Seeds. Oh yeah, it's not truly next gen when you launch on the old gen systems. Really? Gotham Knights is next gen only. Do you really want to look to that game as an example of a truly next gen title? Why isn't Gotham Knights next gen? It doesn't look next gen to me. Are you honestly going to say that? That's all you need to do, guys. Once you leave behind old gen, you're truly next gen. So that means Gotham Knights is next gen and this game isn't. Really? Do a side-by-side comparison of this game to Gotham Knights and try to substantiate that argument. 
How dare this game run on an RTX 3080? I'm to- it's totally not next gen, says a 4090 owner. Like, you, you have to understand the logic. The logic is, game engines can be optimized to run on weaker systems and PCs, which means when a game runs on an older system, it doesn't mean it's not next gen. I played 2018 six times, now seven. Oh, you're replaying it again. Because something is next gen doesn't make it good. That term needs to disappear. Won't pay $70 for a one-time experience. I will. I will. This thing's going to sell like hotcakes. And folks that are like, I'm not going to pay $70 for a one-time experience. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you're in the minor. I think you're in the minority. I think plenty of people are going to buy games like this. Guys, we're closing in on 400 viewers. I need you to smash the like button. This is my second stream of the day. Those of you that came from members only, be sure that you smash that like button. There was tons of you that came over, close to 200, and we have 370 people here right now. I need 200 likes on this video very quickly. When we don't have a good like ratio, we will get punished for that. Replayability is a non-factor for me. If I get one great experience, that's good enough. Yeah, you're talking about people that right now are saying they played the game for 35 hours. If you go completionist, you're talking 50 hours, and that's not worth the money. That's not worth the money? Like, what are you talking about? All that matters is that it has performance and features you can't get on old hardware, period. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you buy a game for your PC and it has ray tracing, 4K resolution, incredible frames per second, and instantaneous load times, those are all next-gen features, but they optimized it within the engine and all those things can get turned off and it runs on an old system, is it no longer a next-gen system? Is it no longer a next-gen game, I mean? Like, the logic doesn't track. The argument breaks down. It's such a weak argument. In light of the actual technical realities about how games are developed, you can't say a game's not next-gen if it runs on an old system. You can't, it's not a substantiated position. It isn't. It's like a faith-made system. Like, it's like a belief. It's an ideology. It's not backed by the it's not backed by the market. It's not backed by the technical realities of how games are built. It just isn't. People pay $20 for a 2-hour movie, but not 70 for 35 hours. I don't understand. 23 million people paid $60 for God of War. Plenty of folks want more from their games than endless grind and live service. A concise, well-told story and great gameplay is what a lot of folks want. Tom with a two spot IGN review masterpiece piece was Asgard shown none of the reviews I looked at showed Asgard we are trying to avoid spoilers if you're just tuning in God of War Ragnarok review embargo is gone and we are doing a review rundown and we are avoiding spoilers I need 27 more likes on this video thanks so much for tuning in you guys are the absolute best